Also new at six, it is one of the most bizarre campaign stunts that we can remember. A bear being hauled around and used as a prop in the push to recall Gavin Newsom as the candidates try anything to take down a sitting governor. KPI X5's Kenny Choi live in Yountville with, well, what most would consider an unusual display. Kenny. It certainly was. This was uh, candidate Cox's second stop of the day in front of the French Laundry here. This is where Governor Gavin Newsom last year showed up to a dinner maskless with multiple households. Today, Cox launching an all-out campaign ad blitz and calling for beastly changes. The blitz began in the state's capital with a 1,000 plus pound burly brown bear by his side. We're going to have to be a beast. We're going to have to make beastly changes. Really a bit of a, a, bit of a, a circus. Uh, the bears and the, all of these random right wing candidates. Team Cox today kicking off a five million ad campaign. California's choice, beauty. Pretty boy. Or a beast. John Cox grew up with nothing. With his Meet the Beast bus, the Republican businessman who failed in his gubernatorial run two years ago, calling Newsom pretty boy more than a dozen times. And the pretty boy, he sent his kids to a private school. His kids didn't suffer during this pandemic like a lot of kids did. The governor is demonstrating clearly that he is a governor who has empathy for the concerns of the people of our state. Democrats have been debating how to label the recall effort. Of course, there are some Democrats and some independents who signed the recall, uh, but it is overwhelmingly fueled by, led by, funded by Republicans and the right wing. Another recall candidate also revealing her new campaign ad today, reality star and Olympic gold medalist Caitlyn Jenner. I want to prove that it is absolutely possible. California has had career politicians and celebrities for a long time and they haven't done the job. So I, I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering, I got a couple of questions right away. Number one, is it even legal to drag a bear, an animal like that around and, and sort of display it as a prop? And second, who is behind this? So, Ken, to answer your first question, animal activists are not happy about uh, this, uh, this show, uh, if you're to call it, uh, in Sacramento today. The second question about who is behind this ad, it's for the work of Fred Davis. Uh, Political experts I've spoken to say that he's a creative maestro who has a knack for breaking through. You might remember back in 2008 during the McCain campaign, he created an ad that compared Barack Obama, the president, uh, to Britney Spears and Paris Hilton, calling him the biggest celebrity in the world. I confirmed with the Cox campaign when he was hired. They said that Davis was hired back in March. Guys. Should be an interesting election for sure. Uh, Kenny Choi reporting live. Thanks, Kenny. Here's a little more perspective heading into the recall. Back in 2018, Gavin Newsom beat John Cox in a landslide, a 23 percentage point margin of win, the state's most lopsided governor's race since 1950. As for the governor himself, today he had firefighters rally to his side as he's facing a political emergency. And as the current recall effort plays out, we have you covered. You can check out kpix.com slash recall.